Hey guys, uh, Dr. David Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about compounding creams or creams made up specially for you. Now, um, when you go to a pharmacist or a skin skincare store, you'll find that um, there'll be a whole heap of product range and the product range will be uh, very much standardized. So we're looking at concentrations of 20%, 40%, 60%, or we're looking at glycolic acids or um, retinol or retinoic acids. And these are all percentages which are made um, for the normal population. For example, 5% glycolic acid or 5% um, AHA, 10% uh, AHA, 15% AHA, and they're all made in a specific base with no flexibility to increase or decrease or add special ingredients. So today's video, um, we're talking about how, I guess the secrets of dermatology of how dermatologists formulate special creams. So for example, if we need a stronger concentration, what we do is that we are working with our pharmacists. For example, we go, hey, you know what? We need a special lactic acid peel, which is stronger than 20%. We can ask our pharmacist to compound it to 30%. We may, for example, need uh, salicylic acid. And for example, like treating back knee, um, instead of having a salicylic acid that's 2%, if we may go, look, we might need it in a 5% uh, concentration together with 85% ethanol, 2% thymol. Basically, it's like a recipe. So the sky's the limit. Whatever you can think of in your imagination, the pharmacist can make. And they can make bespoke creams to actually, uh, creams, lotions, gels, the whole lot. To actually suit your skin type. So when you see a general dermatologist, um, they can actually look at your skin, look at your condition, and write what's known as a compounded script for your particular skin type. Now I'll give you behind the scenes look of how it's done uh, in the end product. So remember all of these uh, we can make up. And dermatologists, good dermatologists will actually um, instead of just writing you out the script for certain things, we'll actually write you a script based upon your skin condition. So it's all bespoke. So I'll show you how it's done guys and the behind the scenes of how it's done. Okay guys, so we're in the secret squirrel laboratory here and this is where everything happens. So um, I'm not a pharmacist, I'm a dermatologist. I write the scripts, the pharmacist basically uh, prescribes it. Um, but this is, uh, I guess, the lab. So you can see where all the raw ingredients are kept. Um, and I'll show you a couple of really cool machines of how they actually make stuff. So they've got all these different chemicals, but the ones that we're, we're interested in are the ones that are active for the skin. So we've got capsule machines here. We've got this, which is called an ungulator or a... Um, Hey Helena, what do you call the ungulator again? <laughs> Flowering machine. Yeah, but what's the proper term? <laughs> ungulator, I will do a spinner. The spinner. That's good. There you go, the guys. We've got a spinner. Okay. So guys, sorry. You can see I don't do this for a living. I'm gonna actually ask the farm. So this is a spinner. She also calls it a McFlurry machine. I'll tell you why. Because we put the cream over here, um, and what you do is you hit OK, and watch what happens. Isn't that cool? It actually spins it for you. So that's what it does. It actually makes, mixes up the, 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 the cream. So um, she calls it a McFlurry machine, but it's called a spinner. Okay, so that's it guys. Okay, next on our list is this. So what does the pharmacist use this for? This is called a milling machine. So what happens with the milling machine is that um, it mills. So it makes the cream a lot um, more cosmetically elegant. So instead of being really gritty, for example, if we're actually um, formulating anesthetic agents, um, this is the one that we use. So the lo topical uh, local anesthetic agents and all the numbing creams and all, this machine here makes it less gritty and more cosmetically elegant. So that is pretty cool. Um, then what other machines have we got? Jeez, we've got heaps. We've got weighing scales over here and they measure to the exact 0 0.00000 gram. So it, everything's exact. We've got a vacuum extractor here. Um, so in case we're making anything cytotoxic, um, which we don't. So we've got a vacuum extractor here. 
heaps of containers and this is where it gets really interesting this, these are the raw ingredients so for example hydroquinone uh, which is what we use for bleaching agents so instead of actually buying a um, 2% superfade we can actually write hydroquinone based upon the uh, patient's uh, needs so this is raw HQ or raw, raw hydroquinone and when the dermatologist mixes it up we can add hydroquinone for example 3%, 5%, 8% we can add ascorbic acid so we've got some vitamin C um, we can add that into the mix um, and then we can have our bespoke formulations. So this one is made up to um, 6% uh, with ascorbic acid. And this one, from what I understand, is only a 3%. So if you have super sensitive skin and um, pigmentation, the dermatologist will ask for a 3% concentration. Whilst if you have resistant melasma, you might actually go for a higher concentration. So in this room, basically the pharmacist makes up creams, lotions, gels formulated to your skin type so um, isn't that cool guys so this gives you a sneak peek on um, what goes I guess behind the scenes of a dermatology practice and how a compounding pharmacy works together with us to give you the correct formulation for your skin type so it's not what you pick uh, for example off the shelf because if you pick off the shelf items for example if we go out here and Walk out to off the shelf items here basically these are all designed for um, Normal skin types uh, with no flexibility to actually increase or decrease formulations so by um, compounding mixing milling uh, McFlurrying um, spinning we can actually make uh, really bespoke items for patients. Uh, and like I said, it's like a cooking class and um, the world is your limit. It's your imagination of the dermatologists and how good they are in regards to mixing creams for your skin type. Guys, thanks very much for watching that video. Uh, remember one short video every Saturday morning, uh, Brisbane time, and subscribe for more info. Thanks guys, see you next week, bye.